how to add buttons in Canva website. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to implement and create some buttons and add them to your Canva website. It is very easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over to canva.com and then you're going simply to search for your website. So after you have, of course, signed in into your account, you're going to here either create a website by typing at the search bar at the top website. And then you are going to see the Canva templates, as you can see, choose one of them and make it yours by designing it or here uh, changing some elements. In case you have already a website, it will go ahead and let you see it right away. So this is our website. We are going to select it. And here we have the editor. I'm going to close this menu so it will open up the full version of the editor. Now let's go ahead and add the button. So we are going to add a button similar to this one. So we are going simply to click on elements. Either here you are going to have two choices, which is the first one. Uh, type in on the search element button, for example, like that. And you're going to see here some graphics and also some photos. Go ahead and select the graphics and implement it directly into the design. For example, this one, we're going to make this as a button. And then we are going to put it like this. Or you can go ahead and select one of the most convenient one for you. And also we can go ahead and forget that and add a shape. If, if it is a, a rectangular or a more rounded uh, color. So we are going to differentiate the color from here to make sure that it is going to be like that. So this shape is going to be uh, here customizable, editable, and this is the shape of the button. So now all we need to do is to add a text to it. For example, you are going to click on the text area, add a heading, for example, uh, we are going to uh, put a call to action button, which is buy now. For example, like that, we're going to add it to this button. We're going to press the control to get more freedom on how we can place that button instead of having the um, the uh, filters and also the points. Put it like that. Maybe this is the middle. And also we can go ahead and modify the, uh, as you can see here, the font of it. So we are going to put this one. I'm going to put this and maybe you are going to duplicate that and put it as this. And here we are going to give it to this one, this green one. So now we are going simply to link the buttons to make them lead to something like, uh, I don't know, another page or an external URL. You're going to click on the text. Maybe you are going to uh, group them, click on the three buttons or the three dots. It will not work. So I will ungroup them. You're going to select here uh, the image or uh, or the button or the uh, as you can see here the text and then you are going to click on link and take them to another page for example here i will take it to this page and this one i am going to link the uh, text and take it to this page click on done publish it and boom we are going to publish it so we are going to wait for a few seconds and here we have our buttons as you can see, uh, they are underlined. That means that they are clickable. So I'm going to click on preview and we are going to see that if I click to this button, it is going to take us to a specific page and that one also will do the work. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.